Wow, we just out for a walk around the RV park here. We do that usually a couple times a day. Anyhow, uh, today is a little bit extra bonus. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be testing out here. Check this out. Came across this little Vivitar camera at a thrift store today here in Pahrumpton. The Vivitar Vivicam X014N. Now, I know that's a mouthful of a model. Uh, I don't. I can't find much about this thing online, except for it appears to be more than 10 years old. It's got a flip screen for selfies, which is cool. It does video and photos, and it even has a quarter 20 tripod mount underneath, which is kind of cool. So you can put this on a selfie stick, flip it around, and record yourself like so. I don't know what the quality is going to be. I can't imagine it's very great. You can pick these up on eBay for about 16 or $20 uh, <laughs> as is. Or I see far more models that have been converted to infrared. And you can pick up the IMR models for $50 or $60. And they're being marketed as ghost hunting cameras. So if you want your little Vivitar selfie screen ghost camera, it's only 50 bucks or so. But <laughs> we found this for $5.99, $5.95, something like that, at a local thrift store. We thought, you know what, we got to give it a try at that price. And the granddaughters are wanting cameras. We gave the uh, two of them, we gave some Kodak cameras we had. Uh, and I think it was around Labor Day or so, at a family get together, and they were on a ball with those. So the other ones want cameras now. So this might get passed along to a granddaughter. But I thought, you know, just for fun, we're going to take this thing out on our walkabout and we're going to do some photos with it. So it won't be my traditional photo shoot. <laughs> we are in an RV park, but also I'm going to try using this little Vivitar and we'll see what we get for photos. I'm not expecting much, but maybe we'll be surprised. And I did get out while the light was still fairly bright, so we have a fair chance. And uh, we'll go see. It's only 10 megapixels. Uh, it does do um, <laughs> video. I forget what, the, what it is. Uh, it's, it's less than, uh, it's not even SD, it's definitely not HD, it's pretty small video, but we'll go give it a try, and uh, it's cheap, we'll have fun, and let's go see what we can do with this thing. Okay, so I got turned on, it has, like I said, it has photo mode and video mode, which is uh, VGA, which is really bad, but we're on photo now for our 10 megapixels, so we'll... Uh, Get a picture of Melanie, get a picture of me, and we'll see how this looks. It clicked and said we got it. All right. Oh, or we could do a selfie style. Are we lined up, Melanie? Yeah. You in the frame? Mm -hmm. It clicked. I guess we got it. All right. Let's go see all we can find to take pictures of. <laughs> uh. All right, so these stones, there's several of these little painted rock things around. We're going to try a picture of this. I uh, just like the way the light's hitting it. So we'll see what we can do here. And we'll try a lower angle, too. Well, i got to get way back. This is a... Uh-oh. We just uh, stuck taking a whole bunch of pictures, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Well, <laughs> like the shutter stuck or something. All right. Try that again. <laughs> anyway, let's see what we got here. Let's see. Okay. Here's our playback. How many did we get? Oh, wait, no, it didn't take any. Okay, so it didn't actually take them. It was like firing and clicking like it was, but it wasn't actually taking them. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go back to our photo mode and we'll try this again. No, you hear that clicking? Mm -hmm. I don't know what 
that's doing. Well, speaking of ghost hunting, we seem to have a ghost here in the uh, camera. It does not like taking that picture. Huh. All right, I'm going to try one more time, and we'll try something else, see if something else is any better. I don't know what's going on there. No, nope. no, nope. it's only got the one. All right, well, we'll go see if we can find a different picture it likes any better. That's odd. All right, found another tur painted rock turtle here. So I'm going to try a picture of this and see how it works. If this will actually take a picture. Okay, seems to have taken a picture of that one. So it just doesn't uh, like that other one over there for some reason. Huh. There it is. I don't know, but hey, we got the turtle. So, all right, we'll go see what else we can find and see if it wants to keep keep working. All right, so we're trying like selfie mode here. I cannot get this far away enough from us to get both of us in. Um, but anyways. I don't know what it looks like either, but we're going to see. This is selfie mode with the Vivitar. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try a photo of this bush here <laughs> with the pretty red berries on it. But this uh, camera, when I turned it on, I realized how not wide angle it is, how tight the crop is on it. it Reminded me of one of my granddaughters this summer. We were camping, and we had one of those Kodak cameras with us. Melanie brought it along, and the granddaughter turns it on and looks at it and says, why is it so close? <laughs> she she was used to the wide angle on her mother's iPhone, and she couldn't understand why a camera would be cropped in so close. So this is pretty close compared to our iPhones, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and get a picture of this little bush here. that a try I cannot see too much the screen is not very bright and uh, the Sun is so kind of a tough combination I think I got some lens flare on that we'll see if it's good or bad lens flare So one good thing about this little camera that I did not mention, or well, one distinctive thing about this camera I did not mention, it might be good or not good depending on your factor's perspective, is it's bright purple. So I'm thinking the granddaughters will love the color scheme. <laughs> well, we've got a some kind of construction project over here. I haven't been able to figure out what it is, so we're going to try and get a picture of this. It might be interesting, too, just to, we're just playing with uh, the camera here, having fun, just wondering what kind of shots we can get. So instead of the, the plants and, and little painted rocks, we'll try the construction site here, see what that looks like. And the sun's shining on it pretty good right now. So. I'm going to do, uh, just for fun, I'm going to do one more video here. A clip and just to pan it just to see what it looks like with this thing. Alright. Now we'll hop back over the photo there. And it does have a switch on the side to uh, apparently change the focus distance from macro of uh, 30 to 45 centimeters to a regular wide angle which is longer I can't quite read it because I have my glasses on and then there's a USB a micro USB port here as well uh, that you can use to transfer photos to your computer if you don't want to pop the disc out of the bottom or the flash SD card out of the bottom and it does also I didn't mention this thing takes AAA batteries which was a little bit of a surprise been a while since I've seen a camera with AAA or AA batteries but this is one of them, so. 
All right, see so you see a picture of goldfish here. I don't see any. They're all hiding. I don't see any out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah they're keeping a low profile now, aren't they? <laughs> I don't see any today. So, <laughs> the Charleston Peak up here. Another mountain behind it, I forget the name of off the top of my head. I always love this mountain when it's got snow on it. So we're gonna get a picture of it, despite the fact that there's basically a junkyard in front of it from this perspective. Cause I wanna see what the camera does, this little vivitar does with a landscape shot like this. <laughs> I can't really see the mountains, but I think I'm aiming at it. Yeah, pretty tough shadows there. But <laughs> despite being uh, punched in tighter than the iPhone, it's also a tiny enough screen that I can't really see in low resolution of screen. I can't see the mountains in there. So I, I think I was pointing at the mountains. We're going to find out. So. <laughs> For some reason, I'm not sure why, this tower here looks appealing to me to photograph beside this abandoned, or apparently abandoned I don't, building. I don't know if it's really abandoned, but it looks kind of neglected and abandoned. So we're going with abandoned, and that makes the tower abandoned too, I suppose. I don't think you'd pay me enough to climb up that cage to the top, but I will take a picture of it for y'all from the ground, safely on the ground complete with Charleston Peak and that other peak I cannot remember. Griffith, I think. In the background. What is it? Griffith? Melanie says Griffith. I think. So we'll, if we figure it out for sure, we'll put a cut card up. If not, it'll forever be a mystery. All right, that's quite a reflection coming off of that thing. Ooh, yeah, but we're going to see what we can do. Ooh, I got to back up some more. We're too close. Oops. Reminding me of Haley again. Why is it so close? There we go. Now we can get it. All right. I guess we're going to put that pole in it. No, no, no. No, go this way a little bit. Then hopefully we can get the thing and the mountain. All right. I think we got it. We also have our shadows in there because it's that time of day. I mean, yeah, it's another time for a good pan, I guess. Video pan, I guess. So we'll, we'll try and do a quick pan here. Supposedly this camera has image stabilization built in. Clearly it's not going to be much, but all right, we'll give that a try. See what it does, huh? And of course it's VGA, so <laughs> forget 4K. <laughs> Those are the morning doves. Oh, they're, they maybe they get the last rays of the sun and they sit on the wires. Oh, okay. And they'll cool to each other. They're, they're kind There's of the other nice camera. Thing. The the Sony has a telephoto lens, but that's back in the trailer. So. Oh yeah, yeah. They do look like they might be doves, huh? Yeah, I think they're just morning doves. I think they call this, I can't remember what they call this, something about dagger, Spanish dagger, or something like that, but it's kind of cool, all lit up with a setting sun. So, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, limited uh, photo options here, but I'm trying to get, I'm trying to just have fun, but also get stuff that looks kind of cool at the same time. 
within reason. Um, I'm not doing fine art with a Vivitar pocket camera, but hopefully having fun. And that's kind of the point of this is see, can we have fun with a $5 thrift store camera? <laughs> I'm not expecting much. It's going to be fun, but I mean, for five bucks, six bucks, what the heck? It's, I'm having a good time. I know. Well, that's what I was just thinking that probably 20 years ago, I got a digital camera and I think I paid close to $800. Oh, man. I was and thinking it, 20 years had to be back in the early days of digital, right? <laughs> it probably didn't do too much more than that little thing it's <laughs> doing right there. And I paid a lot of money because I thought digital was so cool. So, it, it, it was... Yeah. It was it was the thing, obviously, and yeah. uh, boy, but well, yeah, it's, it's come a lot, come so far. We get spoiled, I guess. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, my father had a disc camera, Kodak disc. Oh yeah. Those are, those are pretty cool. I had one of those. In fact, I had an old, old one, and I don't think I developed the film in it till years later. And I did get some images out of it, but they were all like orangey, uh, <laughs> yellow, really bad. <laughs> but I did get some old pictures that I was, I was like, oh. And my father and uh, at least two aunts were all into photography back in the film SLR days. And uh, anybody shoots film has my respect. Uh, <laughs> I, I did not get into photography until the digital age. I mean, I, I took a few photos on film over the years, but in terms of getting serious at all, it was well into the film age, so a little bit different. Hopefully I can get down here to get it. Ugh. I cannot see this at all. Okay. I'm totally guessing here because I can't see the screen, but this pine cone's all lit up, and I think it might be a cool picture, excepting I can't see. All right, we'll see if any of those turned out interesting, and uh, the really amazing thing is I got back up off the ground. <laughs> yeah, like great, great uncle I'm not sure one great two great three greats I don't know anyways he uh, did photography in the early 1900s and I still have some of his Whew. pictures and uh, he would sell his family owned a general store in town and uh. he would sell postcards of his oh. photos you could send I guess your photos in and made them make them into postcards and so he would sell them at the store so i have a, i actually have a few scans of his old uh postcards that that's he did really neat back in new hampshire so yeah love it love it well we promised you a review full full-size photos we took today here you go here they all are I hope you had as much fun watching this video as we did shooting this video or making this video for y'all to share. Um, <laughs> obviously, camera technology has come a long, long ways, but we had fun playing with this thing. It'll probably be going to the granddaughter soon. Uh, it's not something I plan on keeping in the kit, but I sure had fun uh, messing around with it. What did you guys think? Let us know. I bet if enough of you leave a comment we might be able to talk Melanie into taking a turn and we'll do one more video then with a Vivitar and bring Melanie out and and let her photograph what she what she finds interesting whatever composition she finds interesting and we'll share that with you as well so let us know in the comments if you'd like to see that otherwise <laughs> thanks for joining us for this video don't forget to hit the like button if you have not already consider subscribing to the channel if you have not yet so you don't miss any of our videos about uh, photography and travel related content and again thanks for joining us for this video everyone we will catch you in the next one